A viewer asked me to create a tutorial for regular expression. And I'm not up to the task to do that, but I can help a bit. First of all, why do you need regular expressions? Well, if we go here on the admin tab and, and on the event on custom event properties, we'll see that there are many things that come in regex format. But if we go further down, we'll see that there are many other things that comes in other format that is not regex, particularly JSON. And there are other type of uh, formats as well. What is the difference between the two? Well, regex were uh, used in all computer language to extract pieces from a text that was written for a human to read. So the guys who create the original logs in syslog format, they created the logs in, in a lot of verbosity explaining, like you will explain to a human, computer has done this and this and this and that, right? So then for a, for a machine, that is not that easy to pick up the pieces that you want because it's kind of a, it's like convoluted as the, as, the, as the language is. It requires some level of, uh, of uh, identification of the pieces. And that's why regex were used and I still use to extract those pieces. Let me explain what I mean. So in this particular case, this is the actual payload of the logs. It's an old syslog. And notice that it's kind of a, you know, textual, very verbose. And what you want to do is assign to the property site that particular IP. Well, to do that, what you need to do is put that regular expression. And notice that curator highlights when, when you get a match. So you can create those in right here and do tests and then you can do that. But I find that it's uh, there is an easier way. And now, again, most things will be coming in an XML format that makes machines a piece of cake to extract what it wants. But regex is like all computer language that they will never completely fade away. So what I did to help that viewer and many other is I created this file. It's a fairly long file. I went into all my uh, properties in my demo system. There's no real data there. Uh, and what I did is I put uh, typically three, three things in here. So I put what you want to extract, the, the property name first, right? What is it that you are trying to extract from it? The regular expression that you need for that and the actual payload. Instead of using the curator page for this test, I find that uh, if you Google regex101.com, this gives you a little bit more information. I think it is easier to tune your 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 uh, regular expression in here. So let's take let's take I'm grabbing any example. So I'm, let me grab the payload. Oops. Let me grab the payload in here and paste it right there. Let me grab the actual regular expression and put it right here. And notice that it finds that ID equals 0000, right? This is, again, an, an, an example. And it actually even tells you the amount of time it took. And this is for optimization, which this video has nothing to do with it. I don't guarantee that the regular expression that I have in there have been optimized. I mean, you can, like any many other things in, in with computers, you can do it in an efficient, uh, in an efficient way and a not so efficient one, right? So this this uh, this regular expression site helps you locate that and also give you the the color matching on the on the parts that you are looking for. So notice that we are trying to, what you're trying to capture is between the parentheses and that's always in the regular expression. And typically there's only one set of parentheses. Sometimes there's more than one. And that's when the concept of uh, capture groups comes. Let me actually let's use this example. Let me reload this page and use this example. And again, the, the, this file is in the video description. There's a, in the video description of this and all my videos. There is a link to a public box folder. In that box folder, there is a, there are many. There is a PDF that many people download with the links to all my videos. There is uh, there are folders, and one of the folders is called Reject Cheat Shit. And um, let's say that we want to capture 
in here this uh, second part, right? The system must identify a network DDoS attack. So let's actually use this as a payload. This is an example. So we go here and we paste the, that right there. But let's say that we need to identify the, the first part. So and that's what this regular expression has two capture groups, two set of parentheses. The first one that locates up to this point and then the other one which takes all the rest. So if we grab that and we put that in here, we actually see that in action. That's, that's the second capture group. Again, uh, the web is full of tutorials for regular expression. This is more something tuned up for curator and security. And you can actually understand the meaning and what is it that regex is doing with uh, the, all those uh, with those characters, the dot, the plus, etc. Right? And it, it can be intimidated, but it really it is not. When you want to look for dates, I mean, all these specifying the digits and the format that that thing comes. So uh, I hope that this helps you in your quest to either get quickly the property that you want, you may even find it uh, in this particular file and, and, and be done with it. Or if you want to practice uh, or you get something similar and then you can tweak it uh, until it is what you want. And once you have it right here, go to that uh, page in the admin tab and put the custom property and you will be extracting what you want from the old or traditional syslog uh, type of log.